The woman was eating dog food and was leashed like a dog. She was walking on the side of the road when she was grabbed by some masked men. They tied her hands and feet and took her to a room with filthy surroundings. Mary struggled desperately to free herself from her bonds. She was restrained by chains. Her captors ignored her and brought her some dog food. These were not human food and Mary refused to eat them, but her punishment was no food. After many days of starvation, Mary finally gave up resistance and ate the dog food, but she didn't know that the dog food had been drugged. While Mary passed out, a man bathed her in cold water. After seeing Mary's resistance, they put a choke collar on her. To test the performance of the collar, they deliberately took Mary outside, with a chance to escape in front of her. Mary ran towards the exit despite their warnings, but the collar began to shrink and shrink until Mary passed out. When Mary woke up again, there was a man next to her. They introduced themselves to each other. Mary learned that the man's name was Jack and that both of them had been captured here. They soon came up with a bold plan. Jack pretended to be asleep while the man was delivering dog food and snatched the stick in one go as he approached. A man and a woman were imprisoned like dogs and their daily food was dog food. Jack can't take it anymore. He pretends to be asleep and snatches the man's stick as he delivers the dog food. Jack found the key to help Mary unlock the chain, but just as he was about to take her away, okay. Mary growls at the camera and the room lights up. The group came to Mary's side, but they didn't do anything to punish her. This is a behavioral experiment led by Mary. She's studying human behavior in extreme situations. To make the experiment more convincing, she had her colleagues Luke and Lily kidnap her, and they lock her in a room with Jack. Jack was convinced that they were going to be killed, and was looking for a way to escape. One day while they were outside, they escaped over the fence, but the collars around their necks began to shrink until they were all strangled unconscious. To punish them for their behavior, Luke injected Jack with LSD despite his pleas for mercy. As the drug takes effect, Luke becomes a horrible monster in Jack's eyes. Strangely enough, Luke did the same thing to his co-worker Mary. What's even weirder is that he hid it from Lily, feeling that something is wrong. Lily calls the other colleagues while Luke is out, and they find Mary unconscious in a room. A woman was tied to a hospital bed. As the hallucinogen kicks in, the co-worker who came to a rescue becomes a horrible monster in her eyes. Luke sees this when he returns, seeing that the situation has been exposed. Luke sees the opportunity to kill his colleague and use the drug to knock Lily out. When Lily wakes up again, she sees Jack sitting in front of her. Luke walks in with Mary and hands her a tablet computer. He tells her to choose one of them to survive. Mary didn't hesitate. She chose to save Lily. As the collar continues to shrink, Jack suffocates to death. Luke gave her another button. He said that if Mary pressed the button, the whole experiment would be over. But when Mary pressed the button, a shocking image appeared on the screen of down scenes of men being held captive in a room. This is Luke's true purpose. He's been hiding more subjects from the others, trying to replace Mary's leadership. As Luke approached, Mary attacked Luke and quickly fled the room with Lily. They ran and hid in another room, but they were soon found by Luke. As Luke was about to kill Mary, Lily knocked him to the ground. They tied Luke up and gave him the punishment he deserved. But Mary suddenly knocked Lily out and tried to pin the blame on her. At the end of the story, Mary put on Lily's glasses. After removing the traces of the scene, she left wearing Lily's clothes.